all understand zero to be null, nothing, nada. This is nothing. That rebel in the car is the digit used to represent nothingness. Let's say you lived in a village many moons ago, before the age of electricity, and it was your responsibility to bring water to the village from a certain pond. First off, you'd probably use a clay pot with nothing in it. Hmm, makes you wonder how the symbol for zero came about. But let's leave that up to the historians. Now when you came back from the pond, you would have some water in the clay pot. Everybody would be happy and life goes on. One day, you're walking back from the pond and you slip. You don't break the pot, but all the water spills out. It's too late to go back and get water, so you return to the village with nothing, zero, in the pot. The villagers take the pot and try to pour out the water. What they find is nothing, zero inside. The symbol is still there, but the nothingness, the null, the void, is the empty space in the pot. That nothingness is the zero, not the zero symbol. When we multiply a number by another number, you are actually adding that many groups of that number together. If you were asked to add zero groups together of a certain number, let's say zero groups of seven would be written as zero times seven. Well, zero groups of seven would be zero. Okay, we can understand that. But if you were to divide a number by zero or nothing, how many times can nothing go into any number? Nothing goes into something infinitesimally. You will not be able to find the answer. That's why a number divided by zero is not allowed, because an answer cannot be found. To divide zero by a number other than zero is allowed, because it's easy to see how if you have nothing, say zero cookies, and you wanted to divide them among three people, well, each person will get zero cookies. An answer can be found. As for the equations zero divided by zero and zero to the zero power, let's just say they are indeterminate, meaning sometimes rules apply to them and sometimes they don't. Your response should be why and mine is why because. The understanding behind this is college level as the explanation will still be confusing much later on. Just understand these to be indeterminate. Kind of like going to the movies or going bowling. You could do either one of them or maybe none of them. The choice is yours. But what about when zero is used as a symbol? What I mean is at the beginning of a baseball or football game, each team starts with zero. We can use zero to describe temperature. Zero also is known as the identity element for addition, meaning add zero to any number, and that number will remain unchanged. The number will still be itself. The number's identity will still be the same. As I have demonstrated numerous times, zero is also used as a placeholder. Without it, if you were left a note to bring one, ten, or one hundred cookies to a party, and digits were used, how would you be able to tell the difference? Historically, the use of zero as a placeholder precedes all. Zero truly is a rebel with a cause. When you see something like 4 to the second power, 4 is the base, 2 is the exponent or the power the base is raised to, 
which means 4 is multiplied by itself, which gives us 4 times 4. The exponent 2 is called squared, maybe because a square is two-dimensional. The exponent 3 is called cubed, maybe because a cube is three-dimensional. Anyhow, if you do not think you understand this, move back to chapter 3 and let's go over it again. If you understand this, check these examples out with a calculator. As mentioned earlier, your teacher is your most important asset in learning, but he or she must have your willingness to learn. If something confuses you, ask for their help. Back to these examples, commit the first power and the zero power rule to memory. Okay, now we understand what place value is all about. Each column contains the amount of digits in the base. For us, that would be 10 digits, two of which will be 1 and 0. All the digits in the first column represent themselves, so they can all be multiplied by 1, or whatever the base is, to the 0 power. Remember, every time we count up, whatever the base number is, for us, that's 10, we move 1 up to the left, and every digit in that column is multiplied by 10 or the base to the first power. We work in groups of the base. That's why the digits in the various columns are multiplied by the base to the powers you see. You don't have to see the zeros to understand how many tens multiply a digit. Just know they are there. As you can see, the base remains unchanged. What I mean is, each column or wheel you see only and always has 10 digits on it. What does change are the exponents. Let's say we met aliens with two fingers on each hand. Looking at some of the theories on why we use a base 10 system, let's try to understand a base 4 system. Don't forget, we have four digits to work with, two of which are one and zero. Also remember, we will be working in groups of four. Let's create our place value columns. Now every digit in the ones place will represent itself, so the digits here will be multiplied by one, which is the base to the zero power. The next column represents the fours place because every time we count up a group of four it would appear in that column so any digit you see there would be multiplied by four which is the base to the first power the next column represents base squared or sixteen then base cubed or sixty four and so on Let's stop here a bit. It's a little confusing using the numerals used in our base 10 system to represent the values in another base system, but this can be done. What you should see on your screen is not 211. In base 4, maybe it should be called 211 base 4. We can try to get fancy and call it to 16 11 but let's not get hung up over the name what you should know is that 211 base 4 equals 37 in base 10 multiply the digits by the appropriate place value add them you will see the answer to be true if you understand this try it with different bases if understanding different bases is confusing you, skip over it. When you need to understand it, you can always refer to this DVD. Who knows, it may help you to understand the markings on some alien artifact or break the laws of gravitation.